what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The pregame festivities during week one of this year's NFL season will reportedly include a new song entitled Dun 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 The Black National Anthem. Yeah, it's going down, fam. Haters don't like that. <laughs> the NFL is planning to have Lift Every Voice and Sing, widely known as the Black National Anthem, performed at its season openers this fall, according to ESPN's Jason Reed. The song will reportedly be played before the Star Spangled Banner. The NFL is also reportedly considering other measures for the season to recognize victims of police brutality. That could reportedly include listing names of victims on uniforms through helmet decals or jersey patches, as well as educational programs. All of this comes after a notable shift in the NFL's approach to racial inequality. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell made headlines when he stated Black Lives Matter and conceded the league was wrong for not listening to past players' protest, a statement that came in response to a public demand from many of the league's black stars. But don't get your hopes up too fast, fam. Much still remains to be done if the NFL is serious about change. Colin Kaepernick is still not signed. Though, Roger Goodall says that he is encouraging teams to get him signed. Now, several players, including Adrian Peterson, Baker Mayfield, and Kyler Murray, have already signaled they will still protest during the playing of the national anthem. Right on. The National Women's Soccer League changed this policy to allow players to remain in the locker room while the song is played. Major League Soccer said it will take a different route by simply not playing the anthem, citing the lack of fans in the stands. MLB and the NBA have yet to announce if they would do anything differently with the anthem when they return to action. As you know, a lot of these teams and even companies are trying to appear to be compassionate, but it's more like politically correct, right? They're, it's a PR stunt, fam. That's all it is. And this in the wake of national protest, international protest, after George Floyd was murdered by the police. I don't think this is something that's sustainable. I think that first and foremost, if the NFL was really serious, they wouldn't play lift every voice and sing just on the season opening, you know, just for the season opener. You know, they, they would, they would, uh, they would say, you know what? We're going to play lift every voice and sing every game. And not just that, they would get rid of that racist ass star spangled banner. And not just that, they would hire more black coaches, head coaches and assistant coaches. And not just that, they would allow the opportunity for more black ownership because you know, there have been many times when blacks have tried to get in on that ownership position and they freeze them out. All the black players got to do is come together. Man, we want in. We want in. We want a piece of this ownership. It'll happen because I can guarantee you nobody wants to watch football without color. You dig what I'm saying? I can guarantee you that. All the players would have to do is just come together knowing that there are going to be a few tap dancing jigaboos and just ignore them because they don't represent the collective. 
They should consult with me. I'll show them how to do it. In the meantime, fam, what do you think about the Black National Anthem being played during NFL games? Well, actually, before the games start. I like it. Anything to disrupt the status quo. Anything. I love it. But what say you? No more talk. What the ladies talking about?